Good morning, everyone. This is Lisa from Happy to Hug Creations, and today is Saturday. It's Saturday morning, May 6th. Uh, I really didn't have like a lot to show you, but I wanted to, to um, share what I'm working on and what I'm trying to, to get accomplished. Uh, it you know, it involves stash and it's Saturday. So I thought, why not? Let's do it. Uh, today, <laughs> oh, happy day. It's rainy outside. It's supposed to clear up and then it's going to be like 80 degrees or 70 something, 78 maybe, and sunshine. So hopefully it'll be, it, it'll pass soon. Today though, I am drinking cinnamon vanilla coffee with cinnamon vanilla creamer and it's delicious. <laughs> I love cinnamon, so I like any flavor, really. But the two of these together, usually I mix them up all funny um, just to see, you know, how it's going to taste. But I, I stuck with cinnamon this time. All right. So it is May 6th. So if today is your birthday or someone in your family... <laughs> I've been getting so many comments about, hey, it was my husband's birthday today, or it's my birthday. So if it's your birthday or someone in your family's birthday, happy birthday to you or them. If it's your anniversary or someone that you know, happy anniversary to both of you. And I hope you have a wonderful day today. Stay safe, be happy, and enjoy. <laughs> um, Man, I've got so much stuff here. So I feel really bad. First of all, let me just get this out here. So a few weeks ago, I met up with eight wonderful people in Chicago. We had a, man, we had a fabulous time. Uh, and I always spoke about it in one of my videos. I couldn't even tell you which one it was. But we each brought a gift for the other person. So I'm like looking at this bag. I'm like, I didn't even share this with you guys. So now I'm trying to remember who gave what to who. So I've got the names, but I'm not, I, and I know some of the items that were given, <laughs> but I don't know them all. So don't quote me because I, if I say I think, it's just like, okay, it may or may not be. But yeah, so I've got that that I'd love to share with you guys. And um, I have my bins of yarn. I'm going to show you what I uh, plan on doing with some of it anyway. I really would like to make a temperature blanket. Oh, not a temperature blanket. No. Why would I say that? Those things are monstrous for me. <laughs> I just, I've tried three times, man. It's just not working out. A scrap blanket is what I meant. Scrap blankets, I've made like a ton of those. But man, the temperature blankets, I don't know what it is, guys. I just don't know. And you guys are, I, all of you have been sharing the, um, when the temperature blankets were really going around and you were putting them on Facebook, my gosh, they just come out so beautiful with whatever colors that you pick. And it just, you know, the, it, I just, no, I don't know. I'll try again soon. We we shall see. But uh, for now, I'm just going to stick to scrap, mat or scrap blankets and, you know. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to show you, let's start with the box of stuff. So again, I met now. Let me see if I got everybody right. Okay, because I'm I'm picturing the the video or the picture in my head because we went to Portillo's and I'd never been there. It was delicious, by the way. So so good. I don't even know why I'm whispering. I'm home alone again today. It's kind of awesome today because I need to get a lot done with no with no interruptions. So my granddaughter Sierra has mentioned wanting to crochet, and I'm like. Yeah, we'll have to do that when we get when I get back because I've got, I mean, I've got so much stuff going on today. So I figured I'd get on top of this video and get it made first thing this morning. And it's all my lights are on because it's, you know, it's raining out. So it's kind of dark and, and overcast. But so I'm excited to crochet with her. But who right now it's just like no more distractions. So Jack's at work. Abby spent the night. Sierra spent the night with her friend, with Abby. They're together with my son. So that worked out great for me. All right. So anyway, the eight, let's get back to my eight, my eight yarny friends that I met up with. So I'm sitting here. So next to me was Lori and she is from Lori Lulu, Lori Lulu 327. I'll have her link in the description box below. Um, I also had Rose, of course, from Rose Likes Crochet. 
I had, um, who was sitting next to her? I think Carolyn was sitting next to her. I don't think Carolyn has a channel, but I will double check that. And if she does, I'll put it in the description box. She might have an Instagram. Then there was Kit and um, Sandy, who has Hook Hook Crochet, and Philip and Paula. I think, is that everyone? Now I have to count them. Lee, Rose, Philip, Paula, Kit, Sandy, Carolyn, and Lori. Yes, that's everyone. I got them all. So, okay, we all knew we were meeting up. We, you know, we were keeping in touch with everyone. And so everyone that showed up had something for everyone. So I, I brought eight bags, one bag for each person and so forth. So Kit and Lori had bins of yarn that they just let us go through and get whatever we wanted. I thought that was so awesome. So, uh, yeah, I took some stuff. So let me show you. <laughs> This coffee is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm trying to remember who I who I took from what, but who doesn't need white yarn, right? And I'd never heard of this. Um Schnell Strick Garn. I hope I don't know. I'm probably getting that wrong. But look at the size of this ball. Hello. <laughs> so this was this could have been kit. And I have yarn that's on my, um, that's in my live or in my living room. It's in my kitchen because I'm, I'm, um, I'm winding up or caking up hanks of yarn and three of those or this beautiful, like turquoise color that I got from Kit. I know for sure I got them because I got one and I, I asked her, I said, can I have all three of those? Cause I want to make, um, uh, some, um, I want, I was about to say project bags. That's not right. I want to make market bags. Got it. But man, let me see what the, let me, what does this say? Cause there's a lot of yarn in here. Hmm. Um, does not really, oh, 1125 meters. So yeah, there's over a thousand yards. Woo -woo. So exciting. And again, I don't know if this was Lori. So this, the yarn that I'm showing you that's like this, it's Lori and Kit. That's where I got them from. I don't, I couldn't tell you. Um, I know I got that, that turquoise one from, and from Kit. And I did post a picture on Instagram. So if you go to my Instagram page, you'll see it's a beautiful shade of um, turquoise. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I got this limited edition. Um, I picked that up. I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to make a hat with that. That almost looks, oh, I thought it was, just, and I thought this would be so beautiful as a shawl. I like ice yarns. I have quite a few, like that's ice yarns right there. And then I've got my Picasso right there. And I got some more stuff hanging around, but I liked that one too. And this one I believe was, was this kit? Oh, I don't know, but I have to hide this because Amanda's been coming over to my house and she takes it. So Amanda, I know you watch my videos. I know you see that this is coral, but I'm going to hide it and you're not going to be able to find it because I need this. I need this, Amanda. Don't ask me for it because you know I'll give it to you if you do. So no. <laughs> Mama needs this one right now. You take all my coral. Let me have this one. I really, really love it. So um, yeah, there's that. Okay. I'm trying to get everything together, you guys. I'm, I'm And if you guys are watching... My, my yarny friends that I met up with, I am so sorry if I got this wrong because I know I did. So they handed us a bag of, I got a bag of teas, which I love. You know, I love tea. Love it. I think this was Kit. I want to say Kit. I could get it wrong. Lori's probably looking going, no, that's mine. So there were two of these and you guys know how I like Hobby Lobby. Um, and I made, what did I make with these? The, was it a poncho? I did make a poncho with two of these for my granddaughter, um, but these two, and I, there's two of them, these are going to be, uh, and the patterns from the velvet, no, the lavender, the lavender chair, lavender chair, I can't talk this morning, 
I'm going to make the ring around the rosy vests with these because I'm my supply is getting low and I've got some craft shows coming up and it's still going to be warm out and they can wear it with a t-shirt or a tank top the little girls so I'm going to make that so there'll be two individual ones and not one large one I just don't want that to get cold because it is just too yummy so I got that these were handed out I believe Carolyn or Caroline made some of these and so did Sandy because I had another one where, is, where did it go I had another one you guys Ugh. I don't know if I find it I'll show it to you but it's like a a stress ball I don't I was also thinking like maybe a pin cushion but you know why I got this I love purple and green together these greens are so beautiful so like if that wasn't my Shrek green man I'd be mixing that with some purple every chance I got I just think those colors look so cool together. So yeah, that was so cool of them. So I got that and I got a um, mug runner, mug runner, mug, mug, mug rug, <sighs> mug runner. So I got, I got a mug or it could be, see, I have little hands. So to me, this could be a dishcloth. I have a, um, I have a cloth for um, my dishes. I have a dishwasher, but I like washing dishes. So I have, <laughs> I have a dishcloth for washing dishes, cleaning my countertop, and then cleaning my stove. <sighs> yeah, I'm weird. I know, I know. All right, so I'm going to put this back in here and this back in here. And we, I was trying to keep everything, like, separate from everyone else's. So I used the box that I brought to put my bags in for everyone to put my stuff in. Now, this beautiful, beautiful knit hat was from Rose because... Jack tried it on right away. He loved it. He said, oh, I like that hat. And it is so cool. Man, I just love the way knitting looked. Let me tell you something, Rose. You are mastering the hats. This is great. This is such a great hat. Look at this. How wonderful. Isn't that awesome? So, yeah. And this is I Love This Yarn, I believe. It looks like the I Love This Yarn. I don't know what the colorway is, but isn't that gorgeous? All right, and then I got, they had dishcloths. Oh, I wish I knew who sent this one. So it was a, a fish dishcloth. And then this one, whoops, so lots of rustling here. It says a crochet along Padma part four. What is it? Oh my gosh, it's an elephant. Okay, so amigurumi is kind of iffy for me. But I'll try anything once, twice, three times, 12 times, you know, whatever. <laughs> My hands may not like it so much, but I think Amigurumi is just the cutest ever. And I believe this was Philip. Hi, Philip. Philip, I think he made these. Look, you put your crochet hooks in there, and then you fold it down, and then you roll it, and you have straps to connect them. Hello. So um, I'm counting down, guys. I'm counting down. Vacation is next month. I cannot wait. I'm counting down. And so I'm going <laughs> to, I have to pack a bag. I'm going to pack it early. I always do. I have said this numerous times. I'm sure if you've been following me, you've heard me say this every time I travel. I get so much crocheting done. It's crazy. I love it. So this bag, this was the bag that was from Rose. And look at that. She's so sweet. I felt so bad because I didn't get in on this wonderful um, sale of this yarn. And, you know, it's Christmas. What's what's not to like? And it's the jumbo. So there is, how many is in here? Let me see. How many yards? 482 yards. That's enough to make a lot of stuff. I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but... I'm actually going to start Christmas, um, I was going to say July, but not really, probably August. Um, now, I did get, um, I got an email from a, uh, uh, the organization for our Macon County. That's the county that I live in. So Macon County has a, they have a Macon County Fair, and they also have a state fair. The state fair is in Springfield. But the Macon County Fair is like right up the street from my house, like maybe a five minute drive. 
And so I did it. I, if you guys remember, it was a three day event and I was like, like, Oh, I've never done a three day event before, but man, was it so profitable. People love the items that some of them, not everything, but I did really well. So, um, but it was in June. It was the first, I think it was the first weekend in June and it's pushing it because we leave for vacation the second week of June. So I don't know. I don't know if it's something that I'll be willing to do. It'd be nice to take a little extra money to go on vacation and bring back stuff for all my boo-boos because I have to buy stuff when I'm out for them. You know how that goes. So anyway, <laughs> I get so distracted. <laughs> anyway, I have plans for this stuff when I get, when I figure out what I'm going to make with them, like the, the actual pattern and how you get the pattern, I'll let you guys know. And I mean, I'm not going to work on them all at once. And I'm not sure if I'm going to take that on my trip. So when I take a bag with me, and sometimes it's two bags, I get two of my biggest project bags and I put a bunch of yarn in there for projects. So I take uh, lots of cotton and stuff to do like dishcloths and, and things. But um, sometimes I just feel like doing a shawl. Um, we, you know, because we're driving, well, by we, I mean, Jack, Jack is driving and it's like a 16 hour drive, I believe. So we're probably going to stop halfway through and then just start back up in the morning. Cause you know, we're not in a rush to get anywhere now. We don't have any little kids in the back going crazy, asking to go to the bathroom every five minutes. It's just going to be Jack and myself. So I'm really getting excited about this. And of course, June is our anniversary month. So, um, yeah. So let, <laughs> again, distraction. <laughs> All right. So I was working on a hat, guys. Do you remember this hat that I showed you? And I was like, oh man, it's so cute. This was yarn that I found. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I ran out. I found another one and then I ran out. So I'm on the third row of the ruffles, which is the last one. It's about halfway done. I don't have any more of this. So I believe this is either, it's either I love this chunky or it's not Bernat, uh, not Bernat chunky. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll look for it. I, I've got to find it because um, I really like, I really like all these ruffles and I thought, well, maybe I could just do it, you know, with a solid color. I don't, you know what? Let's just, I know it's not Friday, but we're frogging this bad boy right now. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. We're going to cut that off because it's not what I want. So I'm either going to find the rest of this yarn <laughs> or I'm going to have to pull it out from the second row, wait, this is the second row, right? I'll have to pull it out and then just use another color. I don't know, but isn't it? I think it's really cute. It's really cute. So, so you can you can tell the difference. This was going on the third row, and so I need to do from here all the way to here. So, like I said, it got it's about halfway. Um, Amanda is looking in her stash to see if she has it, but it's, I don't, I just don't know what it is. I sent her a picture. And I'm like, if you have this, can you give it to me? I don't even need a full, a full skein of the yarn, but it didn't work out. This is a beautiful shade of purple, by the way. Um, I had a bunch of it in a bag at Joanne Fabrics several years back and I'm using the last of it, but, um, yeah, so I didn't have anything. If I don't find anything, I'll, I mean, I'm sure I'll figure something out. So my, um, my bins for my yarn stash, since it is Saturday, I keep them in, we eat a lot of cheese balls in this house. By we, I mean the children. I like cheese balls too though. But um, yeah, I keep them in here. I get this at Sam's Club. So I have, I have two of them. Oh, wait a minute. We don't need to see that they're cheese balls now. But I have two of these full of yarn and then a third one that's in the living room that um, I'm going to start working on. Now, um, there's chunky yarn in here. There's sport weight yarn, DK weight, four, number four, worsened weight yarn. 
There's just so much in here. Now, the one thing I do like to do when I have, or when I want to start a project with scrap yarn, I sep I don't separate them by um, color, but weight. I don't like to use, so like I, don't, I won't use the thin and a chunky, um, and then a thin and a thin, or a thin and a, you know, whatever, a four weight. So I like to keep all my chunky yarns together, and then I make a blanket out of the chunky yarn, and then I like to keep my... Um, now, the lightweight, I don't really mind so much, like if it's a, a sport weight or a three weight, um, and then a four, and I mix those together because I'm using two strands anyway. But the chunky yarn, um, the chunky yarn, when I do that, it's just one strand. So, I mean, you know, that's that's pretty thick. So I've got lots of just little just little scraps in here when I was, when I was working on my blanket. There's some more. So this will just be one strand of yarn. And um, I get, I also separate the light colors from the dark. So I'll have light on this side and dark ones on this side. I'll pick up one light and one dark, mix them together. Um, I don't color, I whatever the color is. So if I pick up three orange um, on the light side or dark side or whatever, and, you know, three different colors, that's just how it is. I think the blankets look so cool and unique when I do it that way. So that's how I've always done it. Um, but I definitely separate the weight. I don't want, I don't like mixing a chunky with a light. It just, the blanket just doesn't turn out the way I want it. Um, so all chunky, I use it all together. I, and then my, my worsted weight with a thin. So that's how I do that. Anyway, I'm sure that was probably boring for you, but <laughs> I just wanted to show you. <laughs> Um, anyway, oh, and I, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. So with this stash busting, here's something else that I've been working on. So a couple of videos ago, I showed you guys that I was making these towel holders with, um, uh, a wooden ring. I've used two wooden rings. So I've been seeing, I've been looking around on YouTube and there are even more videos out there that require only one wooden ring. And I really liked that one. So I've been, now, before I found the wooden ring, this was on, was this on Facebook? I think it, it might have been on Facebook. I saw a picture of it. And I thought, oh, that's different. So I don't particularly like that they just make, a, you just make a little chain and then you put the towel through there. You fold it like this. So this is how it, this is how it looks. It, please ignore the strings because, oh my gosh, they're like everywhere. Um, so, and I'm not saying anything. I just like, I have all these rings anyway, so I got to use them up. Um, so you just put the towel through that. This goes over the handle and you attach a button and there you go. So this was super cute um, and, or super cute, super quick to make. I mean, it is cute too. But I just wanted a more um, sturdier hoop. So I decided I am going to use the wooden hooks or the hoops. Um, a lot of people were asking, you know, does, it, does the towel touch the ground? Um, how do you wash it? Well, I treat those like, you know, I treat my wooden spoons in my kitchen. You can't submerge it in water because it's wood, right? So I would just wash it and hang it out. Um, I don't even know if I would get, if they get really dirty or that dust dusty or whatever, um, I would just wash the yarn part. You know, the wood's going to get a little wet anyway, but I'm not going to throw it in the washing machine or anything. I'm just going to hand wash it, spot clean it, whatever needs to be done. It's not going to get too dirty because it's been hanging on my, you know, the handle of my stove. So, I just figured that's how I would do it. If somebody has a better way, please share it with everyone because several of you were asking and I have never made towel run, uh, towel holders with wooden rings before. So I have no idea. That's just how I would do it. So um, I will just spot clean mine or if they have to be submerged in water, like I said, just like with my wooden spoons that I use for cooking, it's going to dry. You just don't, you know, they don't recommend that you leave it in the water for very long. So just wash it right away, your the yarn part, and hang it out so it can dry. So this one is one that I would use the least because, like I said, I prefer the ring to be more rounded and more sturdy. So that was one. 
And then there was this one where you put this part over the hook or the, the ring. Let me see. Oh, here we go. I've got some of my, um, I've got some of these. So let me show you. So you put like this, okay? And then you sew it. And then this part, you put a button there and then it just hangs right there on your, and then you put your towel in there. So I thought that this was too long. I probably wouldn't even make this if I made it again, okay? I would just make it without it. So I folded it under so you can kind of get an idea. And I think that just looks better. You have a little button right there or, you know, just attach it. It's good. It's short. So, oh, and I, I tested out mine. I have a towel ring or a towel holder with this ring that I used. These are the ones I used to use. My towel does not touch the ground if my oven door is completely open, but it's not very long either. I don't, you know, I didn't make it very long. So this actually looks like it would be a really good, like a cup cozy. <laughs> Let me see. All right. Oh my gosh, that, that fits, look, that fits almost, well, it's a little big, but that looks kind of, you know, would fit around there. And just something to think about. I'm making those too. No kidding. I've got my pattern right here. <laughs> so that's a little bit different. But anyway, so I, I did like this. I can't even remember how she had me make it, but I don't like that flap. So I will not make it with the flap, but I made another one shorter because see I had you make one a little bit longer and I thought eh, I'll make a little bit shorter strap so let's just take a look because they don't have you sewing this very long so it's not like a like a big sewing but you could if you made it too long and you thought oh let me and then fold it down but see I just don't I don't know is it just me I don't like that flap so if the flap was folded down see that just looks so much better Ignore the string. A little brown button there or something. White button, blue button, whatever. Would go there and that would look good. Then I came to my senses and I did one without the little flap. Just a little place for the button. So now if you add that to it. Well, we're going to have to put. See, I still, I think it's still too long. Um, but that's better to me. So you just put, sew your button on right there after you add it to the ring and then you're good. You can just put it over the handle and button it and you've got your little ring right there. Now, when I first started using these, I was crocheting around the ring, but the reason I stopped doing that is because I had so many people, now they like that they're crocheted over, but she, you know, they twist when you take the, the, when you take the towel out, it causes them to, you know, the crocheting to get all wonky. So I just do, you know, crochet around the top part, make our little, make our little section here and then attach it. And they seem to like that better and they sell better that way. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think crocheting around them and put like a little, a little edging, like a, um, a little Pico stitch or something are super, super adorable. So mm, I might still do that. I don't know. But these took so little yarn, it was ridiculous. Because they're not, you know, I actually, I don't, oh, that one drives me crazy. I'm probably going to make these two cup cozies. I know there's this, they're big enough. This one's really big or really long. So I don't know. But I'll make these into cup cozies. And this one I will put on a ring. Cause I like this one, but I'm, you know, I, like I said, there's so many different ones on YouTube. So if anybody was, you know, if you guys are interested in that, or if you do that and you have a better way of, um, attaching them to a ring, uh, whether it's the plexi or the, or plastic or, um, the wood, just let me know. Cause I'm willing to try anything, but don't, don't ask me a lot of questions about, cause I've never made them. I just saw those rings and there was a really good deal for that bag. So I got them thinking, oh yeah, I know I can use those for something. And I, sure enough, the towel rings, uh, holders came up on YouTube and I thought, Ooh, those would be really cute. And I've got towels. 
Oh, I'm making some now, so I'll be able to show those to you as soon as I'm done. So I'm making some um, Abby, no, the other A. <laughs> Amanda and I were matching some yarn to some towels that I purchased to make towel holders with. So yeah, so that's going to be fun. Anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble today. I appreciate it. It's been half an hour and I... Uh, I really hope it was worth it, you guys. I, I know sometimes I get a little long-winded. Um, I just love catching you guys up on what I'm working on. I hope you are having a great day today for Saturday. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. And again, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I appreciate you so much for that. Remember, not only can you find me on YouTube, but I'm also on Instagram. I'm on Facebook and Pinterest. I have lots of crocheting over there. And I'm on TikTok. Um, I'm getting better at posting videos and reels over there. Um, check it out. Anyway, thanks again. Put a comment below. Let me know what you think, especially about those towel holders and um, anything else we discussed. Thanks again. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye-bye.